What's up everyone from YouTube? It's Indriver KG and um, we're going to talk about what happened yesterday at the uh, NJ Motor Club Cars and Coffee. Now it seems like some of the media is blowing it a bit out of proportion with how many cars were there, how many people were there. There, I was there, there were a lot of people there, there were a lot of cars. We were running out of space, but I don't think it was posing that much of a threat on businesses surrounding now however it did make up a big amount of traffic and that's only because people were trying to cut other people coming in which i have some footage i'm going to roll it of us rolling in rolling out walking around the meet driving around the meet trying to find an area to park at but i see multiple multiple stories on how this was an unsanctioned rally, almost like H2O. And that's like a bit uncalled for and unfair to all of us car enthusiasts that come out and just wanna share a love for cars or trucks or anything like that. And to put it, whereas we're somewhat similar to what a takeover would be or something like H2O, no one was going crazy or no burnouts. I think I barely heard people revving, like there were some revving, but the businesses that were there were closed except for Starbucks. And um, you could get into Starbucks and get out still. But with that being said, I just don't think it's fair. And you'll see from the clips, it was a lot of people there and most of the businesses there were closed. I'm not 100% sure if they had the approval to be there, but again just it seems like this is a growing thing here in jersey and in other states i've seen too but here in jersey where people will have a car meet and it will be like a completely chill thing and then out of nowhere all these cops are here you have about 10 to 20 uh, police presence there which is fine but it's like we're making a, a nuisance and we're not we're just walking around enjoying cars uh getting to know people and all of that stuff one issue that they did say was that it was causing a lot of traffic on 17 on both sides. It was not causing traffic on both sides. Uh, like I said before, it was just getting into the location, which at that point, cops did block off the entrance and they blocked off the side entrance also because there were people still trying to come in fact of the matter is it's just another spot that we were having a car meet and there wasn't enough spots that's the only reason why i got backed up on 17 and it's just a little unfair that we're car enthusiasts again and say if there's a concert or something and that's happening at, in a downtown area when it's trying when you're trying to find parking like at a concert or some major event like the the izot center or something like that there's going to be a buildup in traffic. There are a lot of people, there are a mass amount of people trying to go to one place. So it's normal. And the fact that, you know, again, we're looked at as the bad guys here. And this was honestly one of the most chill meets or car shows that I've been to in a while. It was a really nice turnout. There were a lot of nice people there. Um, and it just, again, seems unfair. And if you have a different opinion for about it, Please let me know, but it just makes it kind of hard to want to have other car meets here, uh, especially if you're able to get the OK and approval. It's like other things come up where traffic may be an issue, which is fine. I mean, it's traffic. It happens every single day here in Jersey, uh, and it just seems like that is this is the first step of what could be something bigger and big, bigger, bigger, bigger and keep growing. And for us for it to be called the unsanctioned rally, that's, that's a little crazy. Like this is an H2O, it's a cars and coffee and shout out to all of the people that were there. In my opinion, it was a great meet. I think everyone was responsible. There was no burnouts or any of that stuff there. And everybody was really respectful of the area, no trash left around. And we were there for about, I would say, an hour, hour and a half, and then we were told to go. It was more hectic of people trying to get out than get in. But I'm going to roll the footage. I'm going to show you what it was like. And 
you can just see for yourself the rolling driving around it walking around it and then i got the line of cars that were coming in so enjoy this part of the video and again just comment down what you think another thing is i just really hope this isn't a problem for the future of any type of cars and coffee or car shows that we have here in jersey hopefully it never gets blown out of proportion again and we can just have like just regular nice car shows car meets where people just can express the mutual feeling of loving cars and trucks when i say cars i mean cars trucks bikes all of that um we can just come together and really express that without being looked at as the bad guy this is not a takeover event this is not h2o so again it's like we need to say something or do something so we're not looked at as the bad guys
What's up everyone, it's N Driver KG and today we are at uh, NJMC or NJ Motor Club. Yeah, so <laughs> we got this, we got another Elantra N next to us, so we're gonna do a little walk around. Look at that, both of the TRDs, those look good, I'm not gonna lie. I like the outrageous look on it, that's cool. We got a bunch of VWs over there, Tiguans, Turegs. This is cool, this is a nice little line up like i like seeing people line up like that and they have like structure in it too it's a beautiful s5 got the type r guys i need you if you're here in jersey and you have a type r and you like to do a, a collab video you can see what the elantra is like i can see what the ff5 is like and um we can make a video on that but uh shout out to my boy he's here um he's gonna make an account soon so let's see what else we get. Nice. This is the dream truck right here for me. Oh yeah. We have a full house here. It is packed and still people coming in. Look, we have a nice line of cars coming in. Look at that 996 down there. There. Oh, I am a sucker for GT500s. And that's a uh, 14, 1314. Nice RX7. Really nice. That's a cool wrap. Look at this. Damn, that is nice. That is a nice, nice yeah. spec right there. That looks good. The 86 over here. Look at that Camaro over there. That is nice. That's what I like right there. Oh, I could smell it from here. It smells so good. Whoa, look at that. Look at that color that's on that Supra. That's really, really nice. That's clean. A tip run. Come on. Good. That is a really nice 911 over there. Look at that. Oh, and you got a Testarossa. Okay. Look at that, that is a nice car. I love seeing these every time I do. Especially with this wheel combo, that's one of my favorite wheels for this car. And just so you know what it's like, we had to wait online and there is still a full line of cars. That is a nice, what is that, a Celica or a GT? I'm pretty sure that's a Celica. That looks good, yep, Celica. Still, still a nice row of cars coming in. A long row of cars coming in. Let's see how good this zoom is on the uh, S24. But man, look at that. There is a line that is causing traffic. Insane. Just to get in here, that is a beautiful Lexus. Shout out to my boy, because he really likes these uh, he really likes these ISs. He's in the market for one. Damn, that's clean. Oh. Those are clean. All right, Graveyard. I'll see y'all. Check out the lights that's on that Gran Turismo. That looks kind of evil. I like that. <laughs> Two nice specs. Very nice. It's cool. Golf R, can't forget about you guys. I love the Golf R, to be honest with you. It's just price, but I mean, you know, GT350 looking great. I would take one of these in a heartbeat too. Let's see, we got a whole lineup. Really nice grotto. I love these. 
I used to see these a lot back in the day. Oh shit, an Alto. Reminds me of my boy Clinton. Look at the Supra line up over there. There's a few of them. Very nice wheels, very nicely done. A Quadrifolio. Very nice car. Roll back, just straight up clean. Those are the things I like right there. Look at this, it's nice too. I see the Stinger over there. That's 2K. Nice. You don't see these at all. Not at all. You remember these guys. I wanted to do one of these back in the day. Do you guys know about this? A SL73? Like, I'm still learning about my Mercedes. This is just so clean. Like, fire. That's a big ass truck. Kind of nice. That's really cool. <laughs> very rare. Very, very rare. You don't see these. You do not see these. This is honestly my first time seeing one of these. Nice, in the black series. Really, really nice. Still madness getting in here. Still a bunch of madness. This is clean. Fly a car. Very nice. Take a look at this thing. Very nice. What is this thing? Is it a 202? We don't know. He got this in the back hidden. It's cool. That's cool. And look at that. This is honestly one of my top cars right here. LS 600. Very nice. We got the M2. Nice C7. And probably a whole crew parking like that. That's cool. I like when people park like that at a meet. I don't know why. It's kind of cool. Damn, look at this Ferrari, man. That's the one with the back seats, I think. Yeah. Is this an FF? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. The back is so mean. It's so menacing. That is just an amazing car. I would have one of these if I had money like that as a daily. Or at least every few days. I recorded this car over two years ago. This is really nice. It's a 944 with a uh, uh, nice yeah, centrifugal. Right? Yeah, yep. Yeah. This thing, I was gonna let that just roll by. Really nice. I think that's a Black Series too. But yeah, this is really nice. You can go to appreciate things like this. Like you can tell they, they did it themselves. They worked hard. It's cool too. I like these. I remember when these were around $10,000. Now, who knows? Looks so much better with the color match. Yeah. Nicely done. Nicely done. Cool. That looks good. Damn. Damn, you can hear the turbo through that thing. Just a whole line up of them. Very nice. Look at the pup. That's cool. Look at that over there. Nice. Remember this car from last time. Clean. Oh my god. I really want an E55. I really, really want an E55. Very nice. 63. Uh, I don't know. Nice GR. Got a Veloster. In. Okay. I see you. I see you. Look at that TL. 
I mean, not TL. <laughs> Every time I see the front, I say TL. Integra Type S looks great. And you got the FL5 next to it. Which one looks better? You decide. I honestly really like that Integra. That Integra is sexy. Just too, too much damn money. We have another Elantra N from New York. We got my boy. Always repping. What's up? What's up? What's going on? Is that a Celine I see? God. Look at that Viper right there, mean. Very nice. One of my top fives. Always sexy. Honestly, just one of my favorite cars in general. Just insane. <laughs> what do you guys think of the off-road style Cayenne? This is actually fire. Like, I'm really liking this. This is nicely done. In my opinion, I would just throw some mud flaps on there and call it a day. This is nice. What's good, bro? What's going on, man? How are you? All right, thanks. I appreciate you, man. I'll see you. Unfortunately, it's time for us to go. They kicked us out, so it's time to go. see it i mean it wasn't that bad even when they told us to leave we left we left a bit earlier than everyone so we didn't get caught in the chaos but uh for you subscribers that are waiting for the uh, run night video that's coming i just wanted to make a quick video about this and what happened yesterday but uh the new elantra versus the world is coming out and that's going to have a few cars that some of you guys have asked about uh supra new uh z um we have a supercharged civic it's it's a bunch of cars in there so look out for that one i'm gonna have that uploaded soon but anyway thanks for watching if you're new to the channel subscribe like the video comment what your thoughts on everything is and until next time peace out